A murderer began to shoot at shoppers at a shopping mall in a Dallas hamlet on Saturday afternoon, massacred approximately eight individuals involving kids and wounding a minimum of seven others before he was lethally shot and killed by authorities. The police officer was at the shopping mall in Allen, Texas, on an unconnected request when he overheard shootings at about 3.30 p.m. resident time, located the supposed killer and terminally fired at him, Allen Police Chief Brian Harvey reiterated Saturday twilight. Establishments trust the shooter operated unaided in that there were no advanced terrorizations, Harvey said. Youngsters were included in the fatalities at Allen Premium Outlets, said Rep. Keith Self, R., who is responsible for that zone and said resident establishments informed him by telephone after the gunfire. Self said unverified rumors of a second shooter were untrue. Six of the eight persons slaughtered were located lifeless at the scene. Approximately nine citizens wounded in the bombardment were conveyed to clinics by the local fire service, Allen Fire Chief John Boyd said. Two of them expired, and as of late night Saturday, three others sustained serious injuries. Additional individuals could have been incapacitated and transferred in private cars, Boyd said. Kids were also among those who sustained injuries. The sufferers being looked after at Medical City Healthcare Trauma Department varied from 5 to 61 years old, said Kathleen Beathard a spokesperson for the clinic organization. The Dallas FBI department professed that it is helping the inquiry, and President Biden has been informed on the shootout, the White House reported. Panoramic video recordings of the incident, about 25 miles northeast of Dallas, displayed what seemed to be bodies beneath white sheets on the land externally outdoor of the H&M store. Further footage published on public media platforms disclosed persons escaping across the mall's car park and hallways. A footage that could not instantly be confirmed by the Washington Post displayed what seemed to be the shooter after he was gunned down outside a burger cafeteria, dressed in tactical clothing with numerous magazines of Amory on his torso. What looked like an AR-15-style semi-automatic gun lay alongside him. The mass assassination at the shopping mall, which was packed with customers on a Saturday afternoon, was the newest eminent exhibition of the gun ferocity that has become repetitive transversely throughout the United States of America. In less than five months, the United States has previously documented 199 mass shootings in 2023, with reference to the Gun Violence Archive, which describes such incidents as a gunfire in which four or more individuals are shot or executed, not incorporating the culprit. A killer was detained Tuesday after he shot and killed five neighbors in their enclosure after they requested him to halt firing his AR-15-style gun near their Texas home. In March, a 28-year-old assailant executed six people at a Christian school in Nashville. In January, a murderer slaughtered 11 at a dance hall in Monterey Park, California. For people hugging and reuniting, with, I mean, I've seen children run up to their parents. Um, some people are coming to pick up their loved ones. Um, they tell us, I've heard from multiple people that they heard multiple rounds of gunfire outside the H&M, so in the outside area, and then people started running into nearby stores and taking cover. But I have uh, McKinney police on scene, DPS is here, Allen police. Um, we have multiple people um, are still filing out of the Allen premium outlet. Like Peyton, uh, what can you tell from kind of the